YouTube, what's up? Um, first time making videos is number two. Been drinking tonight, so kind of got the balls to do it finally. Um, this is my four gallon. I had the ten gallon that I just showed in my last video. This is the four gallon. Four gallon, unfortunately, it's the one with the ick. I'm treating it, but shit seems to be doing okay. Um, I got the sword in the front. Well, let me kind of get close. See, there's my. That's blue. That's my uh, beta. He is doing awesome. He doesn't have a touch of Vic on him. I have five Rummy Nose Tetras. I mean, they're right there. Um, they all had Ick for a little while. Now, basically, only one of them has it on him. Still treating, gonna keep treating for quite a while. Double dosing, night and day. Just throw a little bit in there, throw a little bit at night. Um, surprisingly, that little piece of wood right there, and that little piece of wood, right there I found at work and boiled it for a while and I released all like the brown shit and it still is giving me a little um, tint in my tank I got the sword right here that I bought at Petco which was a decent deal the Anubius was surprisingly one out of the tube um, I don't like how I attached it to that piece of wood and I feel like every time I put it in a tank it's gonna have to be just weird I don't like it but um, I attached it to the wood about, hmm, I don't know, maybe about a week ago, and it seems to be doing a lot better. I've done a lot of research. I'm new to the hobby, and before I had the entire thing under the substrate. Um, I don't, couldn't tell you what kind of substrate it is. I'm that new, but this isn't like straight rocks. All these colorful ones, I just threw them in there, picked them out of my old substrate, threw them in there when I had, a, you know, waste of time tank there's blue he's cool that's my dude he he sews around he loves it um uh, so let me back up you know it's a it's, it's only four gallon i just the led at the top um it i don't i don't know enough about lights to tell you i would assume it's a low light um but it seems to be doing well the substrate is not gravel it's 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 smaller than that like the the, the colorful ones that you see are the like gravel size these are a little smaller. Um, I got the newbies right here. I, I think I might should have planted it a little lower. You tell me. I mean, I'm going to talk for the last. See, look. Boom. Ick. On that guy. He's the one with the most. And boom. Got all of them. These other guys don't want to have it. There's five. Um, there's five Rummy Nose Tetra in here. There's one beta. You know, there's blue. There's five Rummy Nose Tetra, one beta. And two of, if I can find them, boom, here they are. Um, when I bought them at the fish store in Millis, it said they were green, um, green tetras, you know, green neon tetras. They're cool. I bought two, got, got them home. One was dead. I want to put more in here, but this uh, ick is stopping me. So, but. On my plants, I got the sword right here, which I said I got from Petco. Um, if blue gets out of the way, then uh, I can show you. So I trimmed it up, and it was kind of flat for a little while, for you know about two days. But it seems to be like you know sprucing up. I, you know, I, I feel like down in the middle there's there's one, at least one new growth, which I'm pumped about. This was like the first plant I bought. It doesn't seem to be growing. It has some 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 stuff going on. I trimmed it, but now that it's out of the um, out of the substrate, I feel like it's doing okay. Over here, I got the Java fern, which contradictory to YouTube, I don't like it. I bought it in one bunch, and it just was like brown, and 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 I didn't care for it. So now I broke it up and I attached this piece of wood. Um, and that shit is hard. I mean, as much as you guys still want to say it's not, the, the roots grow a certain way, the plants are growing a certain way, so if you want it to stay a certain way, it's not easy. So, those I'm hoping just branch out and get bushy. I would like them to get bushy. I would like, to be honest with you, if I had plans, I'd like to take everything out of here and throw it in the 10 gallon. If you guys watched my previous video, the only other video I have, I'd like to take all of this out and throw it in my in my in my ten gallon. 
obviously I'm gonna wait for the ick to go away. I'm gonna wait, you know, probably, I don't know, six weeks for my ick to go away, maybe two months after, you know, the bubbles go away on my fish. Um, that heater, 25 bucks at a local fish store. Um, I mean, every, every piece, I, I, I hate to be, um, you know, not politically correct, but besides the ick, from what I read, is fairly, fairly common. The fish tank seems to be doing good. I mean, I threw some rocks. I mean, low budget. The wood, that piece of wood, that rock, those two, there's actually two rocks right there. That wood, all found at work. And I work in a car dealership. We, we got, you know, some stuff going on, and I grabbed it, and, and I threw it in there. I boiled it, and it seems to be doing good. It's like, a, like I said, it's only four gallon. This is a nano tank. I'm thinking about ripping all this stuff out, and, and you know, eventually when the ick's gone, ripping it out, throw it into my 10 gallon, and I don't know. You know, you get into the, you get into the, the, the hobby, and you just want to go bigger. Then you want to go bigger. Then you want to go bigger. Then you want to go bigger. I want to take this out. I want to throw it in my fresh gallon tank downstairs in my 10 gallon. And I want to turn this into like a couple clownfish and I don't know, some coral. I want to throw a saltwater tank together. But when you got, you know, a, a, you know, a two and a half year old and a wife that's not happy about you spending a few bucks on fish every week, you kind of got to do what you can. But Blue is super pumped. He loves this shit. He's always swimming around. Doesn't seem like he has ick. He is super happy all the time. Took me a while to figure out which bait I wanted. But he seems to be doing really good. I probably have too many fish in this tank. Like I said, I have the one beta. Five Romeos. That's six. I have the two Neons. That's uh, eight. And then I have a one red... Uh, cherry shrimp and I have one ghost shrimp so you know I got some shit in this four gallon tank but the ick is there and if you guys have feedback I'm wondering if it's because of too many fish in a four gallon if it is tell me if it's not tell me because I feel like besides him everything else is tiny and they're just swimming around, chilling. There's a little cave in the back. I feed them well. I feel like I hydrate the water well. But I don't really know. You guys know better than me. So tell me what you think. This is my four gallon. My name is Mike. Um, just throw this feedback. I'd greatly appreciate it. YouTube, I am out. Talk to you soon.